presenting, I have the honor of presenting the final award to my friend and the defense lawyer extraordinaire, uh, Tom Mesro. And I know that Tom has many guests with him tonight, uh, or this afternoon, raise your hand. If, uh, friend, everyone's friends with Tom. <laughs> and I want to thank you for all coming. Uh, you are all here because you too recognize what an extraordinary lawyer Tom Mesro is. So beyond that, he's an extraordinary person. So the question of why does Tom Mesro deserve this award? Well, maybe in part because Barbara Walters thinks he does. Uh, he is recognized as one of the ten most fascinating people in America. And yet, it's kind of hard to get to know Tom Mesro because he's not a person who goes out there and speaks as much to the media and others about who he is. When you dig into it, you realize that, okay, maybe he deserves the award because of the hundreds of persons, famous and not famous, that put their trust in him. And they have not been disappointed. Yes, there are the big names. There's the Michael Jackson. There's the Robert Blake, who were acquitted. But for every big name, there was somebody in Alabama, or in Mississippi, or in South Central Los Angeles, who came to Tom and said, I need your help, and he was there. Tom, as many of you know, annually travels to the Deep South to try cases there. It's not always a welcoming situation, but he embraces it. And the way he wins these cases, as he shares with my students, is that he gets to know the people. He shows the judges and the jurors and the people and the witnesses that he really cares. And when he's home, he is a tireless energizer bunny. He does everything from a thriving law practice to managing the Mesro Free Legal Clinic in South Los Angeles, where indeed Many of the lawyers here and students have volunteered as well. But then you could also see Tom Mesro out there marching with the women of Watts against <coughs> gang violence. He is part of the community. And he brings speakers to his church, whether they be judges, lawyers, professors, anybody who can help the people who need help. Often he does so quietly and one from a commitment in his heart that is also rare. I have had the privilege of seeing Tom Mesro in action. There was that little case in Santa Maria that I went to. I was even there on pajama day when his client came in pajamas. And he was not plus because none of that mattered to him. What mattered to him is that he believed in his client, he had done his homework, and he was ready. He was prepared and consumed by the quest for justice. And I saw him break all the rules in a cross-examination. He asked the key prosecution witness a why question, <laughs> and he won. Because he knew what the answer to that question would have to be. I tell my students, whatever side you are on, prosecution or defense, you have to do justice. And frankly, they look at me with blank stares. So what I have to do, and what I have now done, is brought Tom Mesero to them. And now all of a sudden, they get it. Oh, be, look at their heads, yes. <laughs> be like Tom. That is why we are giving this award to Tom Mesero. He is the best of the profession. We are honored to give this award to you, a graduate of Harvard University, London School of Economics, Hastings Law School, to a role model for our students, to a champion for the oppressed, to a man of the people, and not just the system, Mr. Tom. Thank you, Professor, for that <clears throat> wonderful introduction, and thank you, Judge Fiddler, Fiddler Institute, Loyola Law School, <clears throat> for this fabulous and wonderful award. Uh, I'm very humbled, very honored, and uh, uh, very touched by those words I just said. Um, I love being a criminal defense lawyer. 
Uh, I struggled in the profession early, trying various things. Everything was interesting. Nothing had a lasting passion for me until I finally decided criminal defense was where I belonged. And it has been the greatest gift for me and my life and my passion. Uh, criminal defense has allowed me to be a rebel, an outcast. It's allowed me to fight impossible odds. It's allowed me to reclaim the idealism that many of us lose after law school. It's allowed me to make a difference where I choose to. And I feel very blessed by God to have found it. Uh, criminal lawyers, if you really study American history, have been at the forefront of some of the most significant, most worthwhile changes in the law and in society. Uh, they've been vilified, they've been attacked, they've been disgraced, but if you really look closely, with hindsight particularly, you will see that we have made differences that no one else could possibly have made. I'm blessed, I'm lucky. My law firm partner, Susan Yu, the most brilliant lawyer I've ever worked with in my career, does these trials with it with me and, and uh, wouldn't have anyone else but her doing it. Uh, if you have a conscience, if you have a sense of compassion, if you care about people, if you try to understand people, step outside of yourself, outside of your profession, outside of your law school, get right with them, figure out who they are, how to humanize them, how to bring out the best in them, you can make a tremendous difference as a criminal lawyer. Thank you so much for this wonderful award. Congratulations.